Hi friends, today we will be studying the anatomy of the uterosacral ligament. So if I were to draw somebody's abdomen with the female lying in supine position, we all know that the bladder would be here, uterus would be something like this with the vagina and the rectum would be going up. To just draw it for you, it is something here which is called as the uterosacral ligament in this plane. Alright, this is your uterosacral ligament. So basically when you perform a pelvic surgery and when you are peeping inside the abdomen in this plane, alright, and if I just chop the abdomen here, this is the plane which you are going to get which will help you understand the uterosacral ligament so nicely. Here you have the bladder with the detrusor muscle, we have explained this in the past. Then you have the cervix, okay, this is the cervical canal and then you have the rectum. So the rectum is always to be drawn slightly more freer than what it is because that is how the rectum is. Alright, uterosacral ligament is an absolutely beautiful structure. It is just something called as a thickened peritoneum, okay, which is going to extend from the region of the posterior lateral aspect of the cervix and it is going to go and it is going to be, just remember this word, it is a fan-shaped condensation of the peritoneum this is a very very important word to remember all right it's a fan-shaped condensation of the peritoneum of course you have one very beautiful structure which we have demonstrated in the past and that is the ureter this ureter actually is lying very close so it goes slightly in this plane if i were to draw it the ureter in this plane see this is how the ureter goes so basically when you look at the ureter, this ureter goes slightly in the same plane, okay, close to the plane of the uterosacral. It is important that we understand this thing. And because it is like this, we can use the uterosacral ligament very effectively in applied anatomy because close to the uterosacral, slightly underneath it, there is going to be presence of hypogastric nerve which gives away the branches and the hypogastric nerve plexuses you know which keeps on entering inside the organs of the pelvis so again very important to understand that the hypogastric nerve is going to lie below to the uterosacral now if we understand this anatomy we would understand one thing that let's assume i was to cut this uterosacral off Okay, see, I just cut this uterosacral off. When I cut this uterosacral, what do I get? I get the ureter, which is lying down right here. It's a good structure. So, I get the ureter in my plane visible. I get the nerve, so I can protect the nerve. And simultaneously, I can obtain a space in this plane. Okay, now this space, which we also, you know, when this space goes down, it merges into something called as Denon Villiers fascia. Denon Villiers fascia is nothing but the anatomical plane which is present between the vagina and the rectum. So, somewhere here you have your Denon Villiers fascia which is present, and slightly above that you will have your uterosacral. So, obviously, when you cut this uterosacral out of the equation through the lateral planes, matlab, from here you can enter inside the Denon Villiers fascia understanding of this uterosacral is going to help you in three very important cases first one endometriosis because in endometriosis no this rectum loves and goes and gets attached to the posterior cervix so always this free space this approach is blocked and this is where your uterosacral helps you simultaneously in endometriosis the uterosacral is also thickened so it will give you a beautiful idea second is in any form of radical but nerve preserving surgery which is also called as nerve sparing surgery when you want to spare this nerve when i want to spare this entire nerve i need to ensure that my uterosacral anatomy is so good that when i cut the uterosacral i can actually push the nerve down and ultimately end up protecting it Uterosacral, though it seems to be a very simple structure, it is a very, very important landmark in the pelvis and I hope this video helps you in understanding it in greater detail. Thank you so much.